You know, it started in part because uh, on my way into my office at City Hall, we always come up one particular elevator that drops us off in front of George Moscone and Diane Feinstein. And uh, I was kicking around with my aides one day, and we said, you know, there really ought to be a bust here of Harvey Milk. Like, why, how did he get excluded? And um, we realized, as we thought about it, how important it was to bring him into, into City Hall. That was two years ago, when City Supervisor Matt Gonzalez was in the middle of his mayoral candidacy. Still, the idea to raise $90,000 plus needed to put a bust of Harvey Milk in San Francisco City Hall has been kept alive by a faithful few. And now they say it's time to get the ball rolling again after a two-year wait. At a recent event to formally introduce the idea to the public, organizers of the Milk Memorial Fund say the bust is long overdue. Actually, I think it's, it's shocking that there's not already a statue of Harvey Milk in San Francisco City Hall. And I really, it's going to happen. It's absolutely going to happen. There's a lot of energy here tonight. There's a lot of people donating money, which is what it's going to take. And uh, it's going to happen. Kane also sees it as a symbolic second coming of Milk, who was dubbed the mayor of Castro Street and who was assassinated in City Hall along with then-Mayor George Moscone. Harry Britt, a close friend of Milk, is convinced the time to do this is now. It's a big deal to get a bust in City Hall. There aren't very many of them. Uh, and, you know, we've all of us been busy fighting a lot of, of other fights. But it feels like the right time. I, I think it's a time when we can do it and the city of San Francisco will embrace it and be proud that it's there the way they're proud of our... Uh, our, our Bay Pride events and all of the other activities that our community engages in. And it will take the entire community to make the dream of putting milk back into City Hall, at least in an immortal form, a reality. I mean, I think he is, in many ways, a figure like uh, Cesar Chavez or Martin Luther King. He is someone that speaks beyond those those uh, interests that he was fighting individually because, of course, the civil rights struggles obviously don't have boundaries. They break through those boundaries, and uh, it's a collective you know, uh, consciousness that we're trying to change.